Hey, it's Hanasaurus, and today I'm going to be ranking all of the School of Dragons expansion packs in my personal order. So, let's just get into it. So, in number 9, we have Curse of the Hobgobbler. So, this expansion takes place around Newburg and this cave. If I can find it now, I can always forget where it's located. It's a cave that leads to the Hidden World. It's one of the entrances. And I... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, I could not find it, but... Yeah. So this um, is another big part of Curse of the Hobgobbler. You'll be exploring um, other parts of the Hidden World, which is really awesome. And there will also be big, a uh, big puzzle area with um, sneaking around um, a dragon. I'm not going to say which one, but you're going to have to be sneaking past them, uh, climbing up walls and all kinds of new game features which were added in this expansion too, which is really cool for uh, if you've been playing for a while and you're looking for something new, then that's awesome. So yeah, we're just gonna load it up here. Any Okay. So, if we fly this way, we see the expanded area for Curse of the Hot Robber. So in there, um, different kinds of uh, fungi that are growing here. Uh, they aren't too bioluminescent, that might just be the lighting in this area though, but good stalagmites too, and whatever the other ones are called, I think. But yeah, and it'll lead back there, another big area, which is fun to explore. So yeah, that is Curse of the Hobgobbler in ninth place. In 8th place, we have Wrath of Stormheart. So, in this expansion, you will be dealing with events that happen on Vanaheim, so you will of course unlock this location, which is really cool. The music is also really nice here, and they put a lot of detail into this. So there's the big um, skeletal skeleton of the Bewildered Beast here, um, the resting caves are for the dragons, kind of like graveyard here, and you can even find Oswald's hut here somewhere. So. Yeah, um, you'll be facing off against Stormheart for the most part of this expansion, trying to um, end her plans and stop her reign. But yeah, that's this expansion. It's really fun. In seventh place, I am putting the Hidden World. So this place is huge. It is probably the biggest place in all of SOV. And um, of course, it's the Hidden World. and. It's ginormous. Uh, you could explore this forever and you'd still find new cool little um, rock formations or things. I love just flying around here, looking at different dragon glows. It's really fun. There's a, a bunch of little corridors and things. But yeah, this um, expansion, I don't remember too much about it, but I know it um, has to do with a lot of the events of the Hidden World Annex being discovered, which is in the School of Dragons. And yeah, um, Valka also plays a big part in this but you'll be exploring the hidden world and studying it and just discovering its secrets. In sixth place we have Rise of Stormheart. This is the first expansion that will lead you into the events of facing off against Stormheart, the evil pirate queen uh, lady. And yeah, she has a big ship that would be here. Of course I've completed the expansion so you'll no longer see it, but she has a big ship and um, you'll be doing a lot of battle tactics in this uh, expansion, fighting off against her uh, robots and her uh, her shipmates. But yeah, and you're just trying to stop her. And this is kind of like a part one, part two for Rise of Stormheart and Wrath of Stormheart. But it's super fun. If you enjoyed battle tactics, of course not everyone does. I mean, dragon tactics. Some <laughs> They can be tedious at times, but other than that, it's really fun. In fifth place, we have Call of the Death Song. So I put this one here because it is a really interesting expansion. You get some cool new locations. Of course, Melody Island being one of them, with the infamous Amber Cave of the Death Song. And yeah, you'll be learning a lot about invasive species in this expansion and defending uh, Burke from Death Song attacks, really, and just trying to figure out what's happening. And you'll also be introduced to the mysterious Rogue Dragon Rider, which I won't mention who it is. You guys can go play through the expansion pack and discover it yourselves, but some of you may know who it is, and yeah, it's an epic expansion. So yeah, this one is at number five. 
In fourth place, we have Return to Dragon Island. So this, in this expansion, um, a mysterious fog is spotted, and uh, you're gonna have to go figure out what what's causing it and why it is appearing everywhere. And it's causing uh, a lot of troubles for sailors and fishermen and other fellow Vikings. So uh, you'll be going with Hiccup and Valk, I think, and some other people. But you guys will be heading, returning to Dragon Island. And what awaits for you there is uh, something big. So yeah, play the expansion. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, although according to the trailer, most of you will probably already know what it is. But yeah, it's a big, epic story. So super fun to play through. In third place, I am putting Battle for the Edge. So this place, um, this not this place, this expansion is awesome. It gives you the most n amount of new locations to explore which I find really awesome because one of the big reasons I play SOD is just to fly around and explore the islands. I love looking uh, through new um, places, even this Glacier Island, they, it's so big and you could, although it's very vast and open, yes, hear me out, but it's, it's still huge and so well done. So you can explore so many places and uh, the main theme of this expansion is defending the edge and facing off against dragon hunters which are uh, wanting to besiege the edge and take control of it. So you're going to have to be fighting off against those and uh, just blasting ships with your dragons and all sorts of other fun actions. So yeah, that's Battle for the Edge. In second place, so you guys already know what's first place, but in my second place ranked is Impossible Island. So this exotic jungle-like island with a senate in the middle, which you will explore, of course, being the main part of this expansion. Um, it's like a good old-fashioned uh, exploration movie, you know, crawling through uh, ancient ruins, solving puzzles. Uh, it, they add like a new kind of theme to Predator and Dragon, which is cool. I find it awesome. So you, yeah, you'll be exploring through many different puzzles and caves and new challenges. Um, all to uh, find the hidden secrets of, well, the secret of Leviathan, which is what this is called. It's not called Impossible Island, I messed that up. But yeah, the secret of the Leviathan. Yeah, there's also a storyline that goes along with it, which uh, the egg that you find in uh, Return to Dragon Island is a... is you'll find out what kind of dragon that is in this expansion. But yeah, lots of puzzle solving and fun, uh, fun things to do. And you guys probably already guessed what number one is, and that is Ice Storm Island. If you watch my favorite locations video, this is also my favorite location, and it will probably forever be my favorite location because of how cool it is. So this is the first expansion that was released by School of Dragons, so um, it comes with 50 quests. That is the most quests of any expansion, so it will keep you playing for the longest amount of time. Another thing is, it only costs 500 coins, being one of the two expansions that only cost coins, so uh, this and Battle for the Edge. Um, they're good for uh, just buying when you just start playing the game, because it's not going to take you long to get 500 coins if you just grind out on quests. So yeah, this one will be easy to get, easy to buy, and very fun to play. You'll get a Gronskull out of it, of course, as it says in the cover, and uh, you'll be exploring the ice caves and traversing around this um, frozen island and just discovering things about the arctic environment and I just find it such a cool idea and so fitting for, um, for how to train your dragon. It's like a new theme but I still find it very fitting. But yeah, that is Ice Storm Island, my favorite expansion and the most fun to play through. But I hope you guys uh, like this video and we'll see you in the next one.